Hi everyone, Etta here. I wanted to do a haul I was um, that I wanted to share with you. It's not that big. It's um, kind of a smaller box, um, but I'm anxious to get the stuff out. Uh, one, so that I can pull it out and put it away, but um, also because there's a piece in here for a warmer that I want to go ahead and put the piece on it and get it going. So. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I did decided to do the video standing up this time again because I knew I wanted to move over to the warmer and finish it off. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the wax because that's the thing on top of the box here. So I'm gonna go through and show you. Um, I picked up two six packs. So I kind of wanted to replenish some scents. Uh, maybe pick up on ones that I just couldn't remember what they smell like. So that's what I did. Um, I picked up Coastal Sunset, which I recently did again. I mean, I had done this when it first came out and I had a bar that I just let sit for a long time. I just, I don't know, I wasn't crazy about it the first time. And I really enjoyed the way it performed this last time that I did it. So I picked up another bar. I picked up Strawberry Lemon Cake. Um, I don't remember it performing all that well the first time I did it, but I thought, well, one, I'll let it sit a little longer. And I just wanted something kind of bakery for the kitchen and pantry, so pick that up. Picked up Luna. Um, I wound up giving my sister the brick when she was here because I, cold sniff, I just... I don't know, it's not something that I'm like super crazy about. At least it wasn't on the brick when I smelled it. So I said, you know, I wasn't using it, so I just gave it to her because I, I knew she did like it. Um, but I was like, you know what, I'm going to pick up one bar so that I can at least try it. Maybe try it in my bedroom or something, see how it does, and go from there. Let's see. Picked up two, two sparkling yellow. Love this scent. I needed to pick up some more because I... I think I was either out or had one left. So I was like, I think I was out actually. I picked up Daydream Oasis. I'm, I'm pretty sure this came out last year, but I just don't remember it at all. And I didn't have any more, so. Mm, still don't really remember it, but I think it was that it was just not memorable for me. Picked up another Apple Teeny Splash. I really enjoyed the way this performed for me recently. And, um, well, the scent was great and it threw great for, for me, I think about five or six hours, maybe six. Um, so I wanted to give it another try, see if I get better longevity this time. Picked up Ruby Nectarine. I just love the way this one smells. So good. I gotta check to make sure it's in my club. <laughs> I don't want to forget, I, I tend to forget, especially with the scent of the month, I tend to forget to put it in my club. I picked up lemon drizzle cake, again, for the same reason, I just wanted something bakery for the kitchen and pantry, and I figured this would go really well with like sparkling yellow in combination. Um, very, I could definitely smell the cake on here. I think if I remember correctly, I couldn't smell the cake that well when it was warming. And of course I had to pick up one of my favorites, a uh, peeling apple, which I had picked up three recently. I already was down to two. I'd already used one of them. So I had to pick up another one. Then I picked up this one I haven't done in ages. And I saw that I didn't have any in my inventory. So aloe water and cucumber. I'm like, I can't even remember the last time I did this one. And I think it's such a beautiful scent. So I was like, let me pick up one. I mean, if you don't have it, you can't pull it to use, right? So, and since I hadn't done my inventory in a long time, I just didn't remember that I didn't have it. And then the last one was French lavender. Uh, I did this one more so for my husband because I know he likes lavender scents. I'm not usually a lavender person, but I thought, all right, we'll, we'll, we'll give it a try in the bedroom. Who knows? Maybe at this point my preferences have changed and maybe I like it. All right. Uh, another thing I picked up was a six pack of oops, scent circles. I did that mostly for my friend who's trying to figure out what scent she might want to pick up in like the pods. Um, so I, I picked up some more to share with her. 
So I got banana leaf and bamboo, which I did warm and I, I liked the wax. Uh, Magnolia linen. Coastal sunset. She has a, uh, they have a boat, her and her husband have a, a boat and I think they spend a lot of time on it. Um, so I'm picking scents that I think would do nicely on her boat. Kukui and coconut. And based on the ones that she had already picked to try. Palm trees and ocean breeze. And Lake My Day. Maybe she likes manly scents, not sure. But they all seem like they'd be nice ones to maybe use on a boat. So I picked those up. Along with that Amazon rain I had picked up in my club for her. So we'll see which she winds up liking. All right, so I picked up some uh, extra dishes is what I did. I wanted to go in there and get some extra dishes. I wanted to pick up one extra of the press tin, which I recently put that one in my pantry, that um, warmer. So I wanted to have an extra dish in case I need it. I'll move it so I don't drop it. Which one is this? I don't like when they don't label them. This box contains one Scentsy warmer dish, but it doesn't tell me which one. And there was a couple of them that I ordered two of. So, and of course, the looks like the ones that I ordered two of, except for having the labels with the numbers. Okay, well, it looks like one of each in here. So that, and then the other one, I ordered an extra of the Polar Panorama dish because um, I have that one in my half bath. And what I'm noticing, you know, like I recently put out in my um, kitchen the uh, lemonade pitcher warmer. And I never did see, like at one point I remember seeing the uh, dish saying like on, like on back order, but I never saw it come back. So I have to be extra careful with that dish because if it breaks, there's just no replacement for that one, none. Um, so there are some that, you know, they're kind of like a specialty size or whatever. So I was like, you know, if, if I break the dish and it goes out of stock, I'll, I'm not going to have an opportunity to get it again. So I wanted to go ahead and get another one of the pressed tin, another one of the Polar Panorama. And I specifically picked those up because um, I was looking for a replacement dish for the palette, which is this one here, if you could see it. Um, and it wasn't online. They didn't have it in the section for warmer dishes and lids. So I called customer support and they were like, you know, based on, you know, I think they said the warmer came out maybe like two years ago or something like that. They don't have it and they probably won't get any more of it. So I was like, great, because that was the one I wanted specifically for my new warmer, because the warmers, when I make them, when my hus husband and I make them um, using those coffee cans, I, I use Scentsy dishes for the warmers. Well, the other ones that I've made, the French market ones, what I didn't realize, I thought I was gonna be able to use um, one of the dishes that I use for those. But what I didn't realize was the, I mean, the cans are the same, but the lip at the top is not. Like the French market ones have like a little inner lip. And so it can hold um, the dish like the God is great something like that, which has some other ones that are about the same size. But my Cafe Du Monde one does not have that little inner lip. So it has to have a bigger dish with a wider um, piece on the top. So it needed, I figured out that the palette one would fit. Um, also the Marrakesh fits. Well, the palette wasn't there. And I was like, and I know the Marrakesh one isn't there either. And I, I started to panic because I was like, what dish am I going to use? So what I did figure out is that the dancing petals dish fits the palette. So if you have a palette, 
you might want to pick up the dish from the dancing petals or pick up an extra of the dancing petals because again if it's a specialty size you can't just use any dish in every warmer so i went ahead and picked up um one of the dishes for dancing petals that i know will fit actually i picked up two uh, in case either the palette or the dancing petals breaks and one to um, possibly go on the warmer there. And then the other one is um, the one that's supposed to fit the Marrakesh. They told me that the one that's labeled clear glass dish, if you look at the description, it'll tell you that it fits the Marrakesh. So I think that's the one I want to use. Uh, in the Cafe du Monde warmer. I think I decided that that one would fit the best. Um, I think that was how, it, how it, we decided the other day. So this one is just labeled the number and the number says 11056960. That to me looks like the palette. Um, well, I can't tell. I can't tell until I look at both of them side by side to see which one is which. All right, so that's that one. Again, I, I um, on the one for the mirrored rose came in this kind of box too. I actually had to write with a Sharpie right here, mirrored rose, so that I know which dish it is. So I'm gonna have to do that with these too so that I keep track of which one is which. All right, let's see. This one, yeah. All right, so the first one I opened looks like it's the palette, and then the second one I opened looks like it's probably the Marrakesh because it's, see, the Marrakesh one fits inside of the palette one. So this is the bigger one, so that's definitely the palette, and then this is the Marrakesh. So um, I'm pretty sure I had already determined that it would fit my warmer, the Marrakesh one, and I think it would fit it a little bit better. So let me try. Yeah, it has a little bit of a lip on it, not a lot. It moves a little bit, but it's not, a it's not, oops, you couldn't even see me. <laughs> it's not like the perfect fit, but it works pretty good. So now that it is on the warmer, I'm going to turn my warmer on. There we go. Awesome. All right, so now I have an extra warmer there, another coffee-themed warmer for myself. Um, thank you to my husband for putting it together for me. He's the one that cuts the hole in it and does all that. Um, we wound up getting a different base than the ones that we got for the French Market one. And so this one, it's like the can like just fits. It's like practically exactly the same size. And um, so he made sure to cut the hole a little smaller so that it wouldn't wiggle on there. And um, I like it. I think I love having, you know how much I love coffee. I need to go serve myself some coffee. <laughs> uh, it's early in the morning. So I'm gonna go serve myself some coffee. I'm gonna put some wax in my Cafe Du Monde warmer and label my boxes for the ones that don't have a name on them so that I know which, which ones they are if I ever need them. Um, so anyways, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful Friday. And until next time, enjoy your sense, enjoy your day, and enjoy your journey. Talk to you later. Bye.